Insert Godzilla noise here. What's up guys? So we have an awesome product review for you today from our friends over at Entertainment Earth. I have here my Vinyl Wars from Medicom 1974. Godzilla Sufubi! I love saying that word, Sufubi. Do you guys know what Sufubi is? I'll wait. I didn't know what Sufubi was. So Sufubi basically is Japanese soft vinyl. This guy is from Entertainment Earth. He's an Entertainment Earth exclusive. Right there, right? Oh, there he is. So he's one out of a hundred pieces and they're hand painted. I'm not sure if they're hand crafted, but they're hand painted. Uh, and it gives it a very cool vintage look to him. Uh, he's the 1974 Godzilla with the color variant of green and yellow. And he does have this very cool paint application on his little spikes here. So you can see that little silver paint application. His little claws are silver and his eyes and mouth. And he just looks totally retro and badass. Entertainment Earth sent this over as part of our Wheel of Vinyl. So this is, I'll link that below so you guys, I'm not gonna say it, just, just take a look at the link. And they sent this as one of the prizes from the Wheel of Vinyl and someone actually won this guy. So he's not staying with me unfortunately, but he's very cool, I want him. I want him to have, like as a backdrop, just like, like how cool would this look? Just chilling on like a, a table. Like, how cool does that look? It's a statement piece, right? So it's not very detailed. There's not a ton of articulation. His arms go up, they don't twist, and his legs go up, and the tail kind of twists side to side. But it's giving it a retro feel, right? So, so something that was made in 1974, or this era of product, it wouldn't really be too intricate and too articulated. So it's good that it's not, because then it wouldn't feel authentic, right? So this is an Entertainment Earth exclusive. So you can only pick this guy up at Entertainment Earth. I will link it below. But why not try and win, maybe not this one, but something similar to it, on the Wheel of Vinyl? I will link that below too. I want to keep him. This review is terrible because I just, I keep playing with him. I, I just want it. I don't know. Maybe I'll buy one myself. Or Entertainment Earth can send me another one. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, this is off to a winner. I'm going to stop playing with it. It does come in this bag here. I took it out for the review. So it does come in like a poly bag with a thing here it's gonna say hey it's an entertainment earth exclusive godzilla from vinyl wars and whatever that means and a bunch of stuff on the back if you can read that god bless choking hazard 15 plus adult collectible not a toy uh for the medicom toy corporation Ba -ba 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 -bang -bang. made in japan great good awesome super why would you shop at entertainment earth there are four main reasons why you would shop at entertainment earth one, they offer a 90 day hassle free return policy, which is amazing if you're buying toys or collectibles as gifts for people and you're not sure if they're gonna like it, but you don't wanna have to deal with a typical return policy or no return policy at all at other stores. You can purchase in confidence knowing that if it's not exactly what you want it to be or it's not exactly what the person you're buying it for wants it to be, return it hassle free, done. Two, there's a mint condition guarantee. If you're like me and you're an inbox collector for Funko Pops and it gets damaged, that can be a real pain in the butt. They will take care of it for you. It's not a problem. They understand that as inbox collectors, packaging is important. Your package is important. Bow chicka wow Three, they have a low price guarantee. So again, you can purchase with confidence knowing that what you're paying, what you're what you're getting it for, is gonna be the lowest price around. If you see it for lower, Shoot them an email, give them a call, talk to them, and they will adjust the price for you. And four, they do not charge for pre-orders. Wait, they do charge you for them, but not at the time of purchase. So if you're like me, when something new comes out, you immediately want everything. So you can pre-order everything to your heart's content without having to drop all of the money at one shot. It's terrible having to pay for something that you're not gonna get it for two months, right? So why pay for it now when it's not gonna ship for two months? They have you covered. They're my go-to spot for all my toy purchases because of that, right? I don't wanna drop $50, $60, $100, $200, $1,000, $1 million if it's not gonna ship out for a couple months. I want to ship, now I'm spoiled by Amazon Prime. Amazon did this to me, spoiled me. I'm used to buying socks and then being here tomorrow. Anyway guys, 
that is all the time we have. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe so we can do more cool stuff like this in the future. My dog is crying. Bella just wants to say hello. Hello. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, cannoli. Cannoli, you want to say hi? My dogs are not sponsored by Entertainment Earth. They're just cute. So, till next time, everybody.